In this video, I'm going to talk about CIS 30A, Lab 1, Exercise 9. Um, we are using variables in string format to determine shipping in this exercise. So the exercise explanation begins with format method. This allows us to format the string um, to be displayed in a desired manner. It's a way that we can set precisions, especially when we're dealing with decimal points as well. Um, so the way that we use this is we would incorporate the parameter um, in inside the string that we're going to be displaying. So we wanted to set the format so that way it's going to show the appropriate value. Um, so for this program, we're given the task to calculate the shipping costs for three electronics for fast shipping company. And the company charges $2.66 per pound. And we are to ship tablet, which is one pound, laptop, which is seven pounds, and TV, which is 37 pounds. So we need to determine what is the shipping cost for the total three devices. Um, the total shipping cost for all the three devices that Jack needs to spend using Fast Shipping Company. Um, here, on the after the to-do, we are to write the program to calculate the total shipping cost for Jack. And I listed the steps that walk you through on how to write this program. Um, for the demonstration, I'm going to be using Tawny IDE. So... For this exercise, I begin with declaring the variable ship rate as $2.66. Um, and then the next variable I declare is the tablet weight, which is one pound, the laptop weight, which is seven, and TV weight, which is 37 pounds. And this was given in our problem. Next, I will declare the ship tablet to calculate the shipping cost for the tablet, which is we're going to take the weight multiplied by the rate. So the weight is assigned as one pound and the shipping rate is assigned $2.66. So after we calculate the shipping cost for the tablet, we will go ahead and use the print method. And in the print method, I use a string shipping cost of the tablet with the dollar sign. Now here is where the format method comes in. So I'm using the format method to control the precision point in the cost that was calculated for ship tablet. And so here when I bring the variable down to the parameter, what I'm doing with the format method here is I'm setting it up so that way it's going to control two decimal point in that float which is the data type for shipping uh, for ship tablet. Next, I will do the same for ship laptop. So the variable is ship laptop, which holds the cost value for the laptop shipping. Um, and I would calculate by multiplying laptop weight with the ship rate. And here we use the operator asterisk symbol for the multiplication operator. Um, then I will go ahead and print out the shipping cost for the laptop. Again, I'm using the format method to control the two decimal point position for the cost of laptop shipping. Next, I will have ship TV variable, which does the same thing as the other two. We would take the TV weight times the ship rate, which will be the cost for the shipping of the TV. And we will go ahead and print that out. We would use the format method to control the two decimal point for the cost of shipping TV. Then lastly, I have the total ship to, to store the total cost of shipping all three electronics then I would use the addition operation to add the shipping costs of tablet, laptop, and TV to get the total. Then I would use the print method to print out 
the cost to ship three devices. And again, I would use the format method to control the two decimal point in the total shipping cost. So once I run this program, I would see that the shipping cost for the tablet is $2.66 as it only weights one pound. The shipping cost for the laptop is $18.62. The shipping cost of TV is $98.42. And the shipping cost of three devices would be $119.70. And as you notice when we're using format method, it's really implemented for the string, which is being used to display as text as it outputs. And since we are taking the float value and control the positions in that, it would point to the position of um, the decimal point in that float value. So therefore, we can use the format method to display only two decimal points so that way our prices would look cleaner, better, and make more sense to the person that runs the program. And that concludes my Lab 1 Exercise 9, which calculates the shipping costs for the electronics for Jack.